Today is the day, my friends. Today is the day that I share the first ever video on this channel about sex, intimacy, and connection. I am so excited because just yesterday I posted on Instagram asking what question you guys have about sex, about intimacy, and about building deep intimate connection with your partner and with people in general. One, when did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity when I was 16 years young. I was in high school. I think I was a sophomore in high school. Maybe a senior in high school. I don't quite recall, but lost my virginity in high school. Question number two, and I'm going to be looking in this direction because I typed up all the questions. So question number two is, how do you connect with a partner who doesn't even know what connection is? So first off, it's important for you to communicate connection, <laughs> what connection actually looks like and feels like for you. Like, what do you mean by connection? And it looks like this. It feels like this. How do you build meaningful connections with people and connect on a deeper level? <sighs> Massively. Massively essential in order to build deeper connections with people is to have presence. Deep presence. Distracted and thinking about things while talking to them, not making eye contact, being on your phone, not really sharing with them that you're so here for them. So if you're wanting to cultivate deeper connection and meaningful relationships with people, whether it's your partner or anybody, practice presence. Again, presence with the curiosity. Do you still identify as gray asexual? So the answer is no. How do you think diet plays a role in libido? So how does diet affect sex drive? <sighs> well, there's kind of different layers to this, but I'll keep it simple with saying diet matters. The way that you treat your body in all of the ways matters. Hydration matters. Are you eating whole foods? Are you eating fresh foods? Are you eating processed foods? Are you conscious of the balance of macro and micronutrients that you are consuming on a regular basis? Have you had your blood work checked? Where do you stand with your hormone levels and your nutrient levels and all the different things that contribute to your physical well-being. That matters when it comes to the functioning of your humanness and your sex drive. So, yes, it matters. I'll leave it at that and just plant the seed of exploring that, exploring your well-being and getting a little bit more on top of it and more aware and more, um, what's the word, proactive towards enhancing your physical well-being, especially if you are someone who notices that you have a low sex drive. That is something to really explore and if you don't feel connected and you feel insecure within yourself, you feel like there's not open communication between you and the person or people that you're being sexually active with, 
that is fundamental. Um, so I would say there's a lot of different little things. Someone who wasn't very sexually active before, how do you feel having now embraced that side of you? Was it difficult at times, like emotionally and spiritually? So to provide a little context, if you're new here, um, I have in the past never really felt too connected to my sexuality. And that's something that I struggled with or just never really felt like at home with. And it's something that I have been working on in, I would say the past year or so, more so. And so the question is, how do you feel having now embraced this side of you? Was it difficult at times? I would say anything that feels uncomfortable to us that we are stepping into is going to feel difficult at times. Has it been difficult and horrible and treacherous the entire time trying to embrace my sexuality? No. But there have definitely been awkward times and difficult times. Literally, I used to have the identity of I'm not sexual, I struggle with my sexuality, I'm not sexy, and I was locked in to that identity. And for me, I guess the difficulty was with allowing parts of that identity to shed as time went on. Um, so really holding the vision and the intention of giving myself permission to be sexy, to be sexual, and allowing myself to drop and release that old identity that I had carried with me for a really long time. Let go during sex and enjoy. For me, practice receiving, practice opening is, is it wrong to ask for more? This question made me really sad when I first read it. My belief is no, it is not wrong to ask for more. It is so beautiful to be in touch with what you are wanting and desiring and needing. Secretly wanting more connection, secretly wanting to prioritize intimacy and connection, but not communicating that that's important. It's like you can see how there's going to be a lack of that. So being able to first come to terms with yourself. I want more of this. I want to prioritize this. Seeing if the other person's on board. Seeing if your visions of what that looks like and feels like for you. The frequency, all of it is the same. And creating an action plan on how you are going to prioritize.